Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Africa Alive. With me in the studio today is a Nollywood actor, Rotimi Salami. Rotimi Salami, uh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure having me on the show. <laughs> well, we have it on record that you suddenly shot into limelight mm. with <laughs> Not Just Married and you got the best supporting actor given to you by the Africa African Magic Viewers, Africa Magic Viewers Choice, Choice Award. Award. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, tell us about it. Uh, well, basically, um, the journey as an actor has started for a very long time. But good enough, um, I was called up by Judith Aldo, who is the producer of Just Unmarried, um, 2015, and she said, oh, written me, I have this job for you. And I said, okay, fine. Like any other call I get, I told myself, I was just going to give my best when I got the script after reading. But then I told myself I was just going to do something a little extra and I went ahead to study a character in my environment. You know what then? I fire for your matter. I food fire for your matter. Smoke. You know they smoke. Drink. You know they drink. Which one you can they do? God. Even woman self, I know she was a you do. Hmm? <laughs> do. Hmm? Guy, no school today. I want to take you today. Don't see fair. Why do you do like this now? Latin are your guy. So not the door yourself. What you be this? Now moro now. Eh? Why go drop you for school, guy? I go drop it for school. Mm. Mm. My mother is sick. I mean, I live in USA. You know, I still have a chagbad actually. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Where <laughs> so, is that chagbad? That chagbad is in somewhere around Hojo, Lagos, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> so basically, I understood the character, and um, I I brought that character into Lazi as a character. I had a conversation with the director, Patrick, uh, um, Udrak Patrick, and I asked him what he thought about that, you know, personality. He said, do your thing, Ruth, to me. Just make sure you interpret it in your own best way. And I think the little opportunity the director gave to me um, is the result that we get today. I mean, having me... Made you to put all, all yourself my, into yeah, it and your myself, own interpretation. My personal interpretation. And that interpretation got into the mind of everyone. And um, I said, maybe, I, I don't see myself as the best actor on that job, but people said that was the character they loved the most. Yeah. So, eventually... What, what <laughs> character was it? What did Lati play? Uh, Lati is a local young man who believes in... Um, survivor at all costs now um he was influenced by his friend who is a little knowledgeable you know duke with which the character was played by stan and Zay. um he was influenced by him knowing that oh lati is that rugged mechanic guy who does have you know i mean little idea about cars and he thought about it he has a sick mother that he needs to take care of so how do we make money in the ghetto hmm. there is no means to and end. So he thought about stealing cars, but without guns. <laughs> Do you understand? So he needed the expertise of Lati on this case. Lati Did you really was, have he, to understand he, thieves? No, not no. thieves. <laughs> Tout, particularly. Okay. You know, because Lati's character is that ghetto rough guy. You like know. a tout. Yeah. So the character has to, in one way or the other, speak Yoruba, you know, or sing. You know, I think the singing part got to a whole lot of people because people say like, oh, I mean, yeah, it's really not my usual. I love music, yeah? yeah, but then I realized that in building a character, there are some certain things that you bring to, you put together that brings that to character make it to exceptional. Life, make it exceptional. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Sir. And I realized in 2017 also, you won the best African actor of the year. Mm. Well, and that was <laughs> in, in, uh, in uh, another... In another Award film, yeah. film, film that you no, no, no. same, same, same film. one. It was the same oh, film. Oh, the yeah, just the very... not married got you that. Yeah, the just not married. Oh, got me you that. must have been really exceptional. Just not married got me about three awards actually. Oh, congratulations! And several other nominations. Oh, yeah. well deserved. Yeah, the very first nomination that came for me was two at a point. We're two at a point. Most promising actor 
and Best Supporting Actor on um, Best of Nollywood Awards, the mm -hmm. OMA for 2016, uh, which I won one of the categories, which is Most Promising Actor. So it looks like God helped me arrange that thing. Come from, come from one after the other, and after the other. You know that kind of thing. So <laughs> Most Promising Actor came from uh, BON. Um, best supporting actor came from African Magic Visitors Award 2017. And, and then best African the actor came. Wow. You know, um, an African Films Award in London. You know, I mean, that's actually. A I must go me. and see. I must see that film. To really, really. You <laughs> should see it. Yes, I you should see it. I mean, <laughs> with, with three at a time, triple, triple I'm best awards. You, and I mean, several other nominations, you know, but then. Congratulations. You must have uh, done very well for you to have that. I also understand, you know, you just um, featured and acted very well in a film, um, Omoye. Yeah. Omoye, tell us about Omoye. Omoye. Is well, Omoye out or in the making? No, Omoye is out already. It okay. was in cinemas um, October 27, 2017. Okay. Um, it's been about five weeks in the cinema. Omoye is not just a film. Omoye is actually doing, it's a film, it's a project on its own. You know, a project that campaigns against domestic violence. You go try free me. That's why you go to work. I don't even know where they go. Every time you go, they come late inside night. But they pull a liquor for your head. Femi, the thing where you do not good. Every night I go to hear noise. I should go wake up for morning, I go see my call over her body. Now wait and say, she not they try. I be want me to leave you. If your husband, they beat you every time. <laughs> Some days you go go even rape me, Joy. <laughs> we see you go see me can do. <laughs> Mary, my dearest mother. I said this so I love her. I love her well, well. So I need to slap when I give her, not to reset her. You understand? In case I had not correct, not to reset her. Oh. Yeah, it was endorsed by the Lagos State Domestic Violence and Sexual Response State. Domestic violence. Yes. It's ongoing I mean, here too. It's ongoing it's everywhere around the world. Yes, yes, everywhere around the world. Yes. So it can never be overflogged. We've seen lots of um, domestic violence movies here and there. You yeah. know, we're talking about. Um, uh, the story I've been drawn from the high rising society, you know, but then Omoe actually picked the story from the ghetto. We feel mm. in a Yeah. You know, because I mean domestic violence is everywhere. So yeah. when you're telling a story about domestic violence, you're telling from that, you know, high rising um, society, you get to find out that it's happening at the low at the low life from the low life people too. Yeah, because the understand? voiceless. Who are probably boys that who do not even know what to do. Yeah. So we used Omoe as a, as a means for them to understand that you do not have to die in an abusive marriage as a woman. And it is even vice versa. Men abuse women, women abuse men. We have psychological abuse, we have physical abuse, we have financial, emotional, yeah. financial abuse. Yeah. You know? So we have a series of abuses. So if in one way or the other you want to um you you want to get out of it a lot of people do not know that they can speak yeah, out yeah nobody knows some people do not know there's a, a particular uh, there's um there's an institution who who is actually campaigning against this they do not know the numbers to call to in nigeria you. in nigeria yeah we have oh you know that you can actually call for help That's amazing and help you out you know so we use that as a means for people to know that you have to get out so that you, don't you can have make to up a yeah. You bear it. I, mean, I think it's and just in Africa it. people see marriage as a do or die thing. But then if you die tomorrow, what happens to you? Your story ends. And that's the end. Your story ends totally. Very true. Very so true. but if you know that you are very important, not just to yourself, not just to your family and to, to your society. society at large. Yeah. You know, you're going to I mean you somebody's looking up to you. Somebody's looking at you like I want to be like you. Yes. I want to be like this person. Model, so yeah. Because of one marriage you no matter how successful you are uh how do you even get to impact when you're when you're gone how what happens to your kids so the highlight is on you don't have to stay in an you abusive marriage you don't have to stay marriage. in an abusive marriage oh. the moment you find out that this person i mean you guys are not comfortable in terms of i mean little conversations you know, yeah you know you just have to excuse the marriage okay that's so that's good. that's just one thing on my that's a very good project yeah yeah well, well, is that your your film or your story or well it's not my story uh, but i produced it well is it based on a true story it's a true life story actually Goodness. it's a true life story we're currently um we're currently in a talk with lagos state you know to sponsor us with uh, the community screening because you realize that even when you make films and you, the people that need to see the film are not even those that are privileged to go to the cinemas. 
Hmm. The people who need to set the flame are the people in the grassroots. I have a question then. Go ahead. But how do you take it to the grassroots? What do you well, do? How do you intend for the people that need it to see it? Well, that's exactly what I mentioned. We we planned um, a community screen, yeah. which is uh, private. We take it to those um, communities, those uh, environments, and um, but then they can't. They can, yeah, no, they don't even have to pay. That's they don't right. have to pay if we have someone who is going to it's sponsor that. Yeah. So that's why we we spoke. We're, we're in talk with Lagos State currently. And they're interested. Hoping, well, they are interested, but then everything that has to do with the government sometimes takes time. But we're hoping that they would, you know, give us listening ears soon enough. So that we can take this to the grassroots level, that is when we will feel fulfilled. Mm. As a businessman, yes, we're thinking of cinemas, but then if we, if this has to be we very impactful, out, yeah. Yeah, we have to reach out to people. Then we need people to also stand up for us and you know come to our aid. Let these people be able to see it. It's it's far better than going to give some people five hundred and five thousand naira. I can really see knowledge, it to go experience. Places. Mm. Yes. But why do you think? that African women, or maybe let's narrow it to Nigeria, stay in abusive marriages? Well, I think it's a sense of reasoning. It's the kind of environment that most Africans are actually grown in. When you say, uh, your back will say, you know, those kind of things. What that, is that? <laughs> like, I mean, you, you, that you, a child or a, a lady who is married, you know, should remain in her husband's house, no matter what, so that you can take care of your kids. My mama, if you're if you're gone, what's going to happen to those kids? Ah, you won't be part of it. You won't be part of it and anymore. They, they can really suffer. They can suffer at the end yeah. of the day. So I feel it's just the mentality yeah. that is keeping you know most African women in abusive, in abusive marriage. marriage, and it's because they do not they they do not have the knowledge, and that's why we we wanted to use Omoya as a means to an end for them. Okay, fine. After seeing the film, we have um counselors from you know uh institute of domestic violence and response team oh yeah you know, to advise the counsel them, them, they are counsel yeah. them on what and how they should go about they it go when about they are in abusive oh, marriage very good yeah. very very good ah well told Thank this you. is nice very good and uh, your young self taking into um cognizance the uh, ills and the needs of the society well done congratulations that is what movies should do i mean movies are not meant to just make us laugh they are, they're not just meant to make us. Yeah, they are supposed yeah. to yeah, educate us. I mean, let us know what would you want to know. Yes, no, you know. Well, nice, nice to hear all that. So, what's next for you? Ah, uh, well, a whole lot is ahead for me. A whole lot. I mean, I've not even started. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I like that. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. You know what I'm saying? So basically, um, I I I used to have this series, Kudos Career Palace. It was also nominated for. Um, African Magic Viewers Choice Award 2014. Say that it's, again. What is it called? Kutis Career Palace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nominated for um, Best Comedy Writer mm. at the AMVC. Oh, it's a comedy? Uh, well, it's a situation comedy. It's a, yeah, <laughs> drama comedy. Because most times when you want to pass real message to people, people still need, there's so much problem around the world, so people still need things that will make them laugh. Laugh. So I mean, you too. want that message to remain in their head, pass that message in a comic way. If they don't get it that period, they will get it later because when they remember that joke, somehow they'll be like, it "Oh, click." Yes, I mean that person. Yeah. I mean that person was actually saying the fact. Yes. They must have laughed at that point, but then that message Some was in their head. Yeah. So that's why we thought thought about it. Personally, I had the problem choosing career while I was growing up. So that mm -hmm. was why I thought about Kutus Career Palace. You know, it treats from the you know from the premature level down to the, when you want to choose your career in university. How to make and it the those, best choice. Uh, yeah, how to make the best choice in your career. So we intend to revamp that, bring that back in a much more bigger way. I think African Magic is waiting for that, but then, well, then it's money for me. Well done. You know, so then we also have Jack of All Trade. Jack of All Trade um, is a young man who wants to survive at all costs, you know, then trying his hands in all sort of business. So that's also oncoming and um, well to done, a couple I of other movie projects. I hope it really blows up for you, like it the will. others, you know. It will. <laughs> because I can see you're really talented and you work so hard. You know, you put a lot into what you have. Well, here you are in London. Can you tell us what mm -hmm. you're doing in London? Why are you here? Um, I can see your accent changing already. Am I right? I, can you get in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, nah, because you're a bad boy, if it comes in, it's just by the way. <laughs> <laughs> in it? In it. <laughs> now, tell um, us. I, first and first, you know, um, the reason why I'm in London is because I was supposed to be in London to pick up my award for 
um, the best African actor. The 2017 one, yeah. It was November it. last year. Yeah, November last year. But then, because of the whole visa issue and all that, he didn't come up on time. And um, I couldn't make it down. Also, because of Omoye, as at that time, I couldn't make it down. So, I decided that, okay, fine. I should come have a vacation at least. <laughs> uh, you need one. You know, I, I mean, you need, so one, you need one. Yeah, I work so hard, you know, like I need one. So, I decided to just come, see around, pay a visit to... African alive to Africa alive to you know so I mean that's the majority of why I'm here and yeah, um, you enjoy your holiday so far it's been awesome I mean I wish I could use this opportunity to tell everyone who actually showed up for me you know they made it lively for me they made it more fun for me it looks like I'm thinking of staying back but then work is waiting for me now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean so who are you staying with here I know Somebody yeah, very dear to you. I got, I, got, I, got, I got family here, but then my mom is here, so I'm here with my mom. Mm. You know, so I mean, it's been, long time I stopped, it's, been, it's been a long time I stopped to breast, you know. Ah! Yeah, so I need to come yeah not now. Stop talking about that. I know, but I'm a, I'm a child to my mom. Well, of of course, uh -huh, so. of course. <laughs> Once your mom, your parents are alive, you're always a child, no matter course, how old you are. Course, yeah. And I can see the care. How is the weather for you? Ah, uh, good enough. Everybody said I came at the right time. Yes. I think it's planned by God because if I had come when it was very cold, I don't know how I was going to survive. I stepped out of the plane, I was like, jeez, this looks like some sort of tamo cool. Yeah, well, then, <laughs> well, it's been fun, it's been good, it's been good. Mom's here yeah, taking good care of me. Kudos, I might bore you too much. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> lots of love, mom. <laughs> That's fine. Well, you love singing, do you? Well, because in, in Lati, that, that, that's what warmed you into the hearts of people. Mm -hmm. That's what made you exceptional because you played your character and then you introduced songs because you love singing. You told me that just yeah, now. Yeah. So you want to sing something? Ah, uh, well. All things, well, some songs? Something, yeah. Let's hear your sweet voice. You never know. Uh, a lot of actors going to singing, a lot of singers well, going to acting. My mom actually wanted me to sing. My mother, poor mom, too, was saying, ah, I decided. Oh, she was I was like, Mama, yeah. That's, I see. It means that's you have that's, the talent. That's a, that's a different. That's a different career. And for me, I feel if you must not join a career, you have to do it well. It, mm. It's yeah. I think that's what doing is what doing well. Don't do it. Don't okay, do it well for us. Do it well. For well, I'm not saying I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do it as an hobby. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm a professional singer. I'm that's not a professional start. singer. If I want to go to singing, I have to go learn some certain things and singing, learn instruments and all of it. But we then, do programs here called Britain's Got Talent. If you were living yeah. here, you probably would have gone on that set. Yeah. Let's hear True, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's decide by ourselves. Um, beautiful is your name. That's what my mom actually. Wonderful is what you are to me. It's you are seeing my dreams every day. I pray for you, who the queen of my life. Woo! You are so beautiful, mama. You are so beautiful. Hello, mama, yeah. She was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, me a rogery. That is why I'm loving you. Need to read your mom. Oh, oji and in Need to read your mom. Oh, oji and in Leoko. Mama, me a rogery. That is why I'm loving you. La 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 la. La la. La 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 la. Oh, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, mommy, mommy, all yeah. for you. Oh, mommy. Orisha be yao. Go see lie. Eba mi kira for mommy. Mom, all for you. And for all mothers as well. Yeah, for all mothers. I claim it too. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, well done. Thank what you. is that um, an already existing song? Or you yeah, that's a song by Asha. Asha. Okay. Yeah, the song from Mothers by Asha. Oh, well, well done. Or Asha Bia. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I can see you really love your mom. Yeah, I do love my mom because she loves me. Well yeah. done. She's done a whole lot to keep me, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. It's nice having you on the set. Your fans will be happy to see you. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, for my fans, you could just follow me on um, the social media. Rotsimi Razak Salami. The Razak is R A S A K. Rotsimi Razak Salami on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter 
rotsimi underscore salami on twitter and you can follow me on instagram at salami rotsimi one word salami rotsimi one word and i will got to have you being part of my journey thank you well you've had it all <laughs> that's rotsimi salami for you you can follow him he's giving you all the ways to do that he sang a song for all mothers, for his mom especially, and then for all of us mothers. Of I course. claim it as well. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, thank you, Rotimi. Nice thank to you. have you again. Thanks, Till next time.